Greetings and welcome to a new video. By the way, if you want to customize the passcode keycaps on your iPhone or iPad without a jailbreak on iOS 16 and iOS 15, the guide is in the description for you. This video is about how to customize your status bar, including changing the carrier name without a jailbreak on iOS 16.1.2 and below. Yes, it works on iOS 15 as well. The method shown in this video is completely free. We will be using Status Magic. It is a completely free app. Not only you can change the carrier text, but you can do much, much more with it. You can get Status Magic for free from its official GitHub page, as you can see it right here. This will support from iOS 14.0 through 16.0. 1.2 on all devices without a jailbreak. If your device's version supports troll store, you can use troll store. Or from iOS 15.5 to 16.1.2, you can use old store or sideloadly. Both sideloadly and all store are completely free apps. iOS 16.2 and up is not supported. Also, if you want to downgrade from iOS 16.3 or higher to 16.1.2, the guide is in the description for you. All right, so once you have installed it onto your device, first of all, go to settings, then scroll down to privacy and security. This is only for iOS 16. And for iOS 16, you will have to enable developer mode from here. And on iOS 16 and 15, go to general, then go to device management and trust the app. Once done, now you can open the app. Now, first of all, to change the carrier text, just enable this button and then type your text here then hit return and then hit apply the device will automatically respring and you will see that the text here has changed you can also add emojis and then you can see they show up here you can also change the breadcrumb text from here this is a text that you get when you want to go back to a previous application. You can also change the status bar time text from here, hit return and then apply. And after a respring, you can see that we have this text instead of time. And if you scroll down, you can see that you can hide these settings or options just by hitting these buttons. The good thing is that the changes you apply will persist even after a reboot. Let's test it by restarting the device. And here you can see after a restart, I have the changes still there. Now, if you want to reset the changes, just open the app and you will see reset all here. The device will respring and then everything will be reset to default settings. That's all for this video. If you still have questions, ask in the comment section. I will reply you as soon as possible. I will see you in a new video. Goodbye and take care of yourself.